Hi there, it's Michael Lafito, author of the book Luxury Listing Specialist and founder of the Lux designation called Luxury Listing Specialist. By the way, our designation requires zero luxury sales to get certified in luxury. Some of our best success stories are both experienced agents that have taken our course with big brands as well as the inexperienced agent that wants to work smarter, not harder, and increase their average sale price. Again, we are doing more in-person live events and we do our continuing education trainings as well, currently in Texas, Georgia, and Florida, and soon Illinois and perhaps your state, so let us know if you'd be interested. But you can always go to LuxuryListingSpecialist.com, click on the events page, and that will tell you where our upcoming events are gonna be. Again, getting back to this video, before we do that, again, leave us some likes and leave us some reviews if you're getting value. But before we get into this month's topic about photo order, when you have listings, how do you determine which order do you put the photos? Before we do this, just a reminder, each Friday we launch a new series live. We're taking interactive questions from audience members across the country and across the world for that matter. Luxury Fridays, you can go to joinluxgroup.com for more information. Our network is expanding, so if you're exploring maybe other options, other brokerages, other models, you wanna hear why I recently left a number one company hands down in, in Illinois, not even close uh, to another company, I'd be happy to share that with you, go to joinluxgroup.com. In this month's video, getting back to the topic, we're gonna to talk about photo order. And I'm not talking photo order when it comes to the brochures, which can be important as well. I'm talking photo order when people are looking in the multiple listing service, when they're on realtor.com, when they're swiping left or swiping right on your property versus the competition. What, how do you put the photos, you personally? Nobody in real estate school teaches you the proper photos, what to show, what not to show. I believe our job as real estate agents is to accentuate the best features of a home and downplay the least favorable. Your job, no, nothing in real estate school 101 says you got to show every, every bathroom. If the bathrooms are dated, why are you showing pictures of the bathrooms? So our job is to show the best and downplay the least favorable. But the photo quality, think of your potential buyer as being high energy, ID, uh, ADD, attention span of a, a, a goldfish. By the way, human beings have less of attention span of a goldfish uh, due to a recent study that came out with that. So think of your attention span of a second grader when you are putting together marketing pieces and going live on the computers with your properties. You gotta lead with the best. So recently I put a home on the market, I was a third agent. If you recall, I've said this before, there's an old adage, adage in real estate. You wanna be the firstborn, you wanna be the second wife, and you wanna be the third real estate agent. So in this case, I was a third real estate agent, and the seller was frustrated with the previous agents because they promised her the world and they didn't do it. But when I showed her her home in the MLS with the previous agent, the photo quality, I think she had 40 photos, She's like, why did he not show my kitchen till photo nine and 10? And why did he leave with the family room on pictures two through four? I said, that's a good question. Everybody's got a different philosophy. I'm not saying his was wrong, Mrs. Seller, but here's my philosophy. My philosophy is you got one time for a first impression. People have the attention span of a goldfish of a second grader. So you gotta lead with amazing photos. And then you, you squeeze in the so-so photos in between, and there's nothing that says you gotta include every bedroom photo and every bathroom photo if they're not that unique. I like showing unique features of a home, the best qualities of the location with drone photos, maybe taking photos of in town, the train station. You're selling not just brick and mortar, you're selling the lifestyle and the location. So that's really important. The other thing is I like putting some really good photos on the tail end. Sometimes I duplicate photos. I put them in the first three or four and I put those same towards the end because somebody might land on the listing picture one and they might look at picture 40, 39, 38 next. So you wanna have some good photos and the tail end as well and your boring ones you squeeze in between. My name is Michael Lafita. My contact information is below. Keep raising the bar in real estate and don't forget each Friday Luxury Fridays, go to joinluxgroup.com. If you have any questions, let me know. And again, please leave us a like or a review if you're getting value from this video. Talk to you soon. Take care.